friends this is Afreen so today we are going to learn a new chapter of standard 6th chapter number 1 natural resources air water and land so let us observe this picture alongside and answer simple few questions asked here first question where do we see the birds now we see the birds right here in the sky where is the cow grazing the cow is grazing on the ground, on the land, alongside the river. Look at the trees and the road. Here we can see a small road and we can locate a tree. It is the both road and the land tree, trees are on the land. Where does the river come from? How does it flow? The river comes from the mountain side, from the mountains. And it flows anywhere. Where is the aeroplane? We can see the aeroplane here in the sky. Where are the fish seen? The fishes are in the river. On what is the sailboat floating? We can see the sailboat is floating on the river. In this picture, we can see that the aeroplane, the birds are associated with the sky so they are called they come in atmosphere then we can see the river here and uh, ex in this picture we can see many all the things like the tree the boat the sailboat the road the fishes are associated with the air or the water body or the Air, the water body and the land so the things associated with the air is called the atmosphere things associated with the water bodies is called hydrosphere and that with the land is called lithosphere so these are the spheres of the earth now we can see an important block here air water and land are the important factors which are necessary or very important for the world on the earth okay so these fulfill the basic needs these are called natural resources they all are called natural resources now the atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere together form biosphere in figure 1.2 we can see a small pie diagram of red and blue color we can see the picture of earth also so you can see the blue part is the water body which is also known as hydrosphere. So the hydrosphere is 71% and the land is only 29%. So here we can see the hydrosphere is more than the lithosphere. We find the natural components in solid, liquid and gaseous form as resources. So uh, these resources fulfill our requirements. Now let us study all these three components in detail further.